Hey everybody, GVB and the Mind Warrior, up on the headland. Thought I'd get you out and about and take a different perspective on life. I punched through the box head, the headland down there, and uh, it's been a, it's a beautiful morning today. It makes you appreciate being alive, you know, and, and for me that's an important, I can't say important thing, but it's important to be alive, you know. It's, a, it's great to be up here and great to be punching out some exercise and, and, and feeling like you've got life again, you know. Every morning you get up, you've got to give yourself something to fight for, you've got to give yourself something to, to work for. You know, and you stand on the edge of these, these hillsides, you look out at the ocean and the beach and, you know, the sun coming up over the horizon and, you know, life's a good place to be. I mean, two of it, too many of us, I feel, get stuck in, inside the world that we've created and we don't take the time out to get up and just have a look around at what nature provided for us because it gives you a whole new outlook on life when you do that and it gives you, I don't know, you can breathe again, you know, and it, it makes the problems feel more distant if you've got problems and it, it gives you time to back brain and clearly look at things so you can you know you can, you can plan make a plan of attack on how you're going to combat issues or how you're going to move forward with things and you know exercise is such an important facet in, in our lives and too many of us don't get enough of it <clears throat> you know we, we get stuck into these these sedentary lifestyles that don't offer us anything you know other than bad backs and, and, and high stress but we don't get that time for ourselves and I mean if you can just once or twice a day get out and do a bit of exercise for yourself, and I don't mean just running on a treadmill, I mean get out and see if you can walk through nature, see if you can do something that's going to reconnect you with the place we were brought into. And you know, just appreciate where we are and what we have. And you know, it doesn't matter really where you live, there's always something positive to find in a situation. You know, it's the way we, we interpret, the way we see things, the way we view ourselves, and the way we view the world around us that shapes who we are and what we do. And I mean, for me, you know, just getting that reconnection with you know with the world it's it's an important part of my day I find the days when I don't get up because I get up early and I work at 3 a.m. to try and write things or, or I'm you know cutting together these videos for you guys you know the days I don't get up early and and, and get out I, I don't seem to achieve as much I don't have as much go in me and I don't have as much zing you know and it's important that you get that time for yourself you know and the same thing happens when you're viewing a problem I mean I went hot air ballooning last week with a friend of mine and the interesting thing about that is that you get to view the world from a different perspective just by being above it. And if, if, you're, if you're stuck inside a problem, you know, you can view that problem from inside, but you can't always find the answers. And so if you can pull yourself out of that problem and view it as a third person perspective, if you can take yourself above like I was in that balloon last week and you're looking down on these beautiful plush homes that it looks so minuscule and so pointless when you're up there and the paddocks that when you're down there look so desolate or so bland, from up above look amazing and spectacular and the life is there because you can see the variants in the greens and the browns and you see the true life the true life beyond what we created which is the houses and the things that feel so pointless and it gives you a different perspective on how we view things and if you can view issues the same way if you can pull yourself out of the issue remove yourself and look in on it and take that time to backbrain it. You'll find the solutions you need to find. Because sometimes when you're crushed under a problem, you can't you can't find an answer. It's almost impossible. You know. I'll show you where we are this morning. Actually, look, here we are, I'm above here. And it's a beautiful spot. You know, this is where we live. And we made a point of 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 moving to this place because I'd been through heavy situations and things, and you know, I wanted my family and my kids to grow up somewhere which was beautiful. And Time, place where it wasn't so condensed with people where we could have some time to grow and to enjoy each other's company you know and I think that's important for all of us to appreciate what we have around us in regards of people you know if you surround yourself with good people you're going to have good things happen if you surround yourself with negative people negative things are going to start to happen it's, it's that law of attraction you know you attract what you think and if your mindset is negative you're going to pull those same people in chances are if you're around people that are broke all the time you're going to be broke so surround yourself with people that are going the same direction as you and here's the big thing don't let other people's opinions of you be more important than your opinion of you because if you view yourself a certain way and you're pushing towards something special for yourself and you don't let other people's views deviate your vision and your path you'll come up with the, the clarity and you'll come up with the, the solutions and you'll come up with the answers. And you'll probably get exactly where you want to go because you haven't let anyone else deviate you. I mean, if I'd worried about what people thought of me all my youth and childhood, I never would have amounted to anything. But the fact is, I, I didn't. I had a single-mindedness in my vision to get where I wanted to go and to be who I wanted to be. You know, and like now, my aim in life now, you know, after finishing all the things I finished, is to try and change the world one life at a time. Because 
you know, you can blanket talk to a lot of people and that can help them, yes, that's great. But it's the people that come out to you afterwards and tell you that you changed their life, you've inspired them, you've made them become something, you've brought them back from the edge. Or the person you meet with one-on-one, -on -one. you know, that stuff can really help shape people. Talking to the audiences is great for me. I love talking to audiences, big audiences and small audiences, it doesn't matter. Because everyone will pull something different out of what I say. And so, it, it gives me a great deal of satisfaction, I suppose, to be able to help people like that because of all the all the life I've lived and been through and I suppose some of the really negative things and horrible things that have happened versus the positive things that have happened and you know all that space in between that you have a good understanding of because you've lived through all that stuff and we've all got stories, we've all got journeys but it's how we view that that journey that shapes us. You know, it's I saw an interesting photo the other day of two dogs standing and they'd been standing in mud and one was a German Shepherd and one was a tiny Chihuahua and they're both, one's covered up here with mud and one's down to the ankles in mud and it talked about, you know, how you view things makes all the difference because the depth of the mud didn't change. Yeah, and I thought it was quite interesting because it, uh, well, it made me smile. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna leave you there. I've got some more trekking to do. I'm gonna get out to Box Head, that, that headland way out there in the distance is where I'm heading this morning. Uh, I've been, came back from the other direction today and I've been all through the beach and I've gone all up and I'm now heading up over the top of the rocks out to the headland out there and, you know, enjoy the rest of the day and I'm going to go chuck this up on the web now for you guys to look at and uh, you know think well of yourselves you know think strongly of yourselves think positively of yourselves if situations come you don't let them shape you don't let people make you angry it's you making you angry you're letting the emotion in you're the one letting that stuff happen to yourself and if you're feeling depressed change it if you're feeling down change it you know you're the one in charge of shaping yourself and if things aren't going so well get away from what you're in the middle of sometimes and go for a walk you know enjoy some time just with nature and backbraining your life and, and plan for the future, you know? Make an aim and a goal for where you want to be, where you want to get to and, and keep working at it. You know, it's step by step. You know, you don't get to the top of the mountain by looking at the peak. You look down to your feet and you take the steps. And somehow, step by step, you don't even notice the distance, but you eventually get there. All right, so uh, that's what I want you to try and do for yourself, you know? Appreciate yourself for what you are and enjoy your week. Be good, Mind Warrior, out.